Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brad, and my hands is The Stretcher Bearers, published by Dead Reckoning. It's out this week. Uh, it's written and illustrated by Reed Beeman, and then written and lettered by Ryan Beeman. Uh, so this is a story about a guy named Maxwell Fox, who is sent off uh, to France uh, during the Great War. Uh, this is World War I. Um... So he is, he works as part of the stretcher bearers. Uh, you know I don't know if they actually have like a proper title, uh, like what they do, but he's the the guys where someone says you know stretcher medic whatever they run out and to go uh, try to rescue their fallen brethren from certain death. Uh, he's with a, a crew of three other guys, and uh, this is a tale of a young man who who um, uh, meets a bunch of guys during war and finds a family. Um, this is really about bonding and, and the impact of war. It's a really interesting graphic novel, and I'll admit, like, it had me choked up tearing uh, towards the end of it. Uh, it's it's a solid graphic novel. It's it's really well done. I like it. Uh, Story-wise, I think it's absolutely fantastic. Details, I have no idea. I'm not an expert on war or military at all, so I could not tell you how accurate the uh, uniforms are, guns, any of that stuff. Uh, but I'm going to assume it's it's pretty accurate. It felt very accurate. accurate. So let's go with that. Like, as someone who doesn't know specifics, uh, it felt like uh, it was something like, uh, you know, I, w I was taken to that time. Um, so I said, like, the story is about this, these guys during war um, and all of it. The horrors they see, uh, the horrors they experience, and the PTSD from it, and uh, just you know, the the friendship and the brotherhood that comes out of it. Uh, it's, a, it's a real touching read, and by the time you get to the end of it, like, you know, I, being choked up is, uh, you know, there's no shame in that. It's, it's, a, t it's a pretty solid read, um, and it's, it's good. It's really, really good. Uh, I'm sure if you are uh, more, know more about World War I, you might appreciate it more. You know, obviously, if you've served in the military, you'll probably appreciate it for a whole other reason. But, you know, I, I just find found the, the story of brotherhood and friendship and, and uh, family uh, well done. Um, the art is is good. I mean, I, it's, it's an interesting style because I want to call it realistic, but it, the more you read and the more you go into it, like, it's... you. you kind of pay attention, stop paying attention to the more cartoonish style of the people, uh, and you really start focusing in on a lot of the horror. I mean, there's, there's, you know, people shot through the head and then in the chest, and you see body parts and, you know, explosions and all that stuff. Like, it just, it sucks you in. It really does a solid job of that. Um, you know, I, I, I like the art. Like, it grew on me. At first, I, well, I'll admit I wasn't, like, the biggest fan of the style, but towards the end, not even towards the end, like, after a while, I just I totally got sucked in and, and was really enjoying this uh, and wasn't paying attention. And towards the end, I, like, I absolutely appreciate it. I think it, it, it does a solid job of telling, the uh, conveying the story. It's also interesting is that it's not just black and white. You can see that it's, like, this grayish, uh, bluish coloring to, uh, to it throughout. Uh, and there's some, I think something really works by using that coloring. Um, there's also a lot of detail. There's a lot of rain. I can't imagine how much work of putting in uh, so much rain in those panels. Uh, yeah, I mean, just... I, uh, it's, it's good. Like, I think it does a great job of not just conveying the war and the battle and the... the you know, the more action-oriented aspects of it, but you, it really nails home visually... Um, the, the emotional and physical toil that a lot of these guys went through, uh, at least this crew went through, and, um, you know, you really feel their fear or their uh, being upset or, like, whatever. Like, you, their emotion comes through quite well. This is, this is good. Like, if you're into war comics, if you're just kind of into, like, brotherhood, like, men coming together in brotherhood, uh, if you really like World War One, it's, this is, I think, a good read. I, I've enjoyed it a lot, so... Uh, check it out. It's out in shops this week. Uh, we got a link beneath this video. Put in your zip code. It'll tell the comic shops near you. No shop, no problem. We'll have some links where you can purchase your own copy. There'll be affiliate links, so we do get a small percentage. By doing that, you'll support our site, so thank you. And speaking of support, I want to thank Dead Rec Reckoning for hooking us up with the review copy. And, of course, thank you all for watching. If you are into graphic novels, if you're into comics, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. Until next time, keep reading those comics. And keep it geeky.
Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.